It's beginning to look a lot like Vlogmas Everywhere you go And it makes me so happy You're spending your holiday with me Happy Vlogmas Once more Hi you guys, it's Beth here. Welcome to my channel and if you like what you see make sure you give this video a thumbs up Hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy this video and today I think is day number 17 of vlogmas Which is so exciting last year. I posted 15 videos And so I have exceeded that this year and done just a little bit better And there's still I think three more vlogmas videos to come after uh, Christmas after today Day after this one and so I'm so excited about that but today I'm telling you guys about how I prep for after Christmas clearance shopping and I am gonna keep this video kind of short and sweet and not go into as many details as I probably could or should um, because I'm just trying to get these filmed really quickly so that then I can spend the days uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day with my family um, I'm about to go over there. I'm filming this on December 24th or Christmas Eve. Um, and so yeah, um, I'm about to go over to my parents' house. I told them I'd be there by 8.30. Right now it's about like 7.45, so still have a little while, um, to film. So yay, and to edit, because I'm just, I'm gonna get it over with. Um, and then it will post on Christmas Day. Anyways, you guys didn't need to hear all that. So step one of kind of how I prep for my after Christmas clearance shopping is I go through my inventory of what kind of wrapping supplies I already have left over from the years before. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of those people that um, save my old tissue paper um, and save like gift bags that were given to me from friends and family and stuff like that. I always save those over the years and then I take them out uh, when Whenever I'm prepping for after Christmas clearance shopping believe it or not this is only my second year doing after Christmas clearance shopping I had never heard about it before um, until one of my friends mentioned it and I was like seriously because I was going spending full price for all of these supplies that you can get at 50% off 70% off and sometimes even 90% off if you wait long enough um, so let me go ahead and show you guys um, what I found when I was going through my inventory of Christmas wrapping supplies. So pretty much I already went through everything, but then the stuff that I kept out is the stuff that I'm planning to be using on next year. So I wanted to show you guys. Let me get down on the floor. Um, I pretty much have all these unused 32 assorted red and green bows um, that I'll be using. And then I have this big glitter bow, and then all these mini bows that I'll be using. I have, I think, 12 gift boxes total, three, three, and then down here is red and gold boxes in a pack of six. And then tissue paper, I have some silver tissue paper, like this metallic -y silver some green tissue paper right here. I have some red tissue paper right here. And then some white tissue paper. And then I still have my um, like leftover ribbons. And then whenever I was going through my um, bags and gift tags, I found that I had these three cute little Christmas animal bags. Here we go. One, two, and three. And then I was looking through my sticker gift tags and I have some that have cute little animals on them like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one, that one, that one, and so I pretty much um, decided that I'm going to do like a fun, 
like cute Christmas animal theme. I know it seems a little bit kiddish after my theme this year was gold and buffalo check and plaid and it just looked really classy and or in my opinion it looked really classy but this year I'm wanting to do something a little more fun and um like I don't want to say childish but you know I always want to stay young at heart and that's the fun of Christmas is um you know to keep that like childlike joy and fun and pleasure and whatever so um I mean the whole point of Christmas if you are religious is um the birth of Jesus Christ that's why ever I celebrate it but Christmas has always been kind of a fun time for me wherever I can kind of like let out my inner kid and uh you know be like a child at heart again okay so step two after I kind of like went ahead and took an inventory of what I had and decided about the cute Christmas animal um, theme. That's whenever I went out to some stores and I went and saw what they have in advance so that then I already know exactly what I'm going for and exactly what I'm looking for. And you can do this kind of with anything like say if um, for example, this year I didn't have a tree topper for my four foot Christmas tree. And so when I go after Christmas clearance shopping, I would like to get a tree topper so that next year I'll have one. You know, you can do that same thing with decor items um, as you do with gift wrapping. So that's really nice also. And let me insert a few of the pictures of the gift wrapping that I saw um, specifically at Target. They had a really, really cute like um, animal gift tags, gift wrapping, gift bags. And um, I think next year, I don't know if I'm going to wrap as many gifts next year as I did this year. I might do most of them in gift bags. I really haven't decided yet. But anyways, I'm going to insert some of those pictures um, right now. And then um, that's pretty much all I do other than that the entire year before Christmas, I literally am just saving up money to be able to go after Christmas clearance shopping. So this year I saved up $190 to spend on after Christmas clearance shopping and I'm really, really excited. I worked hard to save up that money. I'm not just going to splurge it just randomly out of my one paycheck. I've been strategically saving up for all 12 months of this whole entire year to be able to spend that money. Um, this year, none of the money that I've spent on anything that I've hauled or anything that I've bought has been like a frivolous, unplanned purchase, which is really, really good for me because in the past, I've always been doing stuff like that. Um, but lately, like this year, I've really been focusing on writing a budget, sticking to it, and always planning for my purchases. So that is the best way that I know how to plan for after Christmas clearance shopping. Let me know in the comments down below if you go after Christmas clearance shopping, how many years have you been doing it for, and also if you have any tips, tricks, or advice, um, because I'm still new to it. This is only my second year doing it, and this year I feel like I'm much more prepared than I was last year. Um, I still like picked a theme and made a list and of like what I was looking for but I was not really as prepared as I am this year so I'm really happy I feel like you know I feel prepared so that's good and um, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a really spectacular day I'll see you guys tomorrow for I think it's my um, what I got for Christmas video I think uh yeah um i'll see you guys tomorrow for that and as always make sure that you stay positive till then bye